strange occurrences. Where does my line and yours begin? How close are we from the thimble of the truth? I'm Hardy Rawls, and you're watching Mysteries and Saw. June 9th, 1984. One of the warmest summers in the town of Presque Valley. Three boys, friends, the point time, geared up having the best time of their life, their teenage life. Until a mystery, an unexplained mystery arose. Murder, mayhem, or chaos. The war you said. 12.13 a.m. Wally Waldo Henderson made a call to Wayman the Way Tisdale. That night could have been the last night Waldo talked to anybody. Wayman! Wayman, it's me! Yeah! 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 No, my brother's gone. Yeah, he said he was going boozing. Yeah, yeah. No, I was gonna take a bath, but there's somebody in there. Yeah, somebody's in there. I'm pretty sure. Yeah! Okay. I see Roger. Oh, yeah, yeah! Okay. I see you a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Hey. All right, just relax. We'll be over in a little bit. I gotta call Raj. So, Raj. Not much. I, I, I got a disturbing call from Wally. Hit me. Seems to be his brother's knocking back a couple of cold ones. Oh man, again? Yeah. So, uh, I'll pick you up in like ten minutes. We go check on the lad. Alright, yeah, sounds awesome. That was the last day anybody heard from Waldo Wally Henderson, Roger Raj Mannheim, and Wayman the Way Tisdale. Hey man, what's up, dude? You ready to fly? Yeah. Let's do it. We gotta watch out. My uncle no, kind of it. puked in the car. Experts believe there's three sides to this story that could be true. Man, that was a door open for? I don't know. This place looks like it got hit with a sack of potatoes. Wally. Waldo. Waldo. You here? Waldino. I'm going. He never leaves those things at home. His glasses? He can't go anywhere without his glasses. Something's up. Oh man. He's definitely up. Okay, um, let's go check around the neighborhood. Check around and see if he's around here because uh, this is uh, kind of freaking me out now. Yeah, it's like, he's not safe alone. Wayside school is falling down. I got, I'm getting the heebie jeebies. I know, dude. Looks like his. Sandals. He never leaves those things at home. His glasses? He can't go anywhere without his glasses. Something's up. Oh man. 
It was definitely up. Okay, um, let's go check around the neighborhood. Check around, see if he's around here, because uh, this is uh, kind of freaking me out now. Yeah, and it's like, he's not safe alone. Wayside school is falling down. Yeah. I don't know. Can you hear somewhere? I don't know. The wind, shit! The wind's picking up. It's picking up. It's cold. It's a car coming. Oh shit, oh. what's going on? I don't know. This is scary. I don't know. Get, I don't get know. out of here. cast and crew of Mysteries Unsolved went to the local Presque Valley Police Department and talked to Grady McBride. Is it on? Oh, okay. So, I'm I'm Officer uh, Grady McBride. Are you sure it's on? Because that doesn't look like it's on. Yeah? Okay. So, I was the first officer on the scene that day. And being a cop, I'm not just the cop 9 to 5. I'm a cop 24-7, and you know what, that means that I protect and serve the community with my life. Now, this little boy, when I, when I arrived at his house that day, I found two things, and it was evidence. That's what it was. It was a pair of glasses and a pair of sandals. I mean, a person just doesn't leave that behind. That was a door before. I don't know, this place looks like it got hit with a sack of potatoes. Wally! Waldo, Waldo, there you are. Any day is gonna be a bad time, bad time, bad time. Take a bath with my ducky. Oh, hey man, hey man, that's the lucky Heller here. It's cool, give it to me, help me with my bath. <laughs> I think there might be somebody in your bed. Sources believe moments later they dragged the body out of the bathroom into the van and drove off into the desert with only the moonlight on their shoulders. Experts today are still uncertain of the probabilities of this cause. But if you, or anyone you know, has any information on this heinous crime, please call 1 800. I'm Hardy Rawls, and this is Mysteries Unsolved.